All right, we're broadcasting live. Welcome everybody to today's Stingray live demo webinar, where we're also going to be talking with Rob Ziff from Almo and talk about the total package with the Stingray and with Almo's sound options. So thank you so much for jumping on today's webinar. I am Ryan Root, the Director of Marketing here. I'm accompanied by Zach Flanagan, the Head of Direct Channel Sales. And we have Rob Ziv uh, accompanied via uh, video all the way in Maryland. Hey folks, All right. good to see you. Fantastic, now I'm gonna share my screen here. We're gonna jump into our presentation. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna spend about 15 minutes and you're going to learn everything you need to know about the Stinger ADSP mixer. And with that, we're also gonna get some input from Rob talking about sound options over at Almo, something we're really excited to be part of. So again, you know, here's our introductions. Um, and let's go into the Stingray. Zach, would you like to take it away? Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Um, thank you, uh, Ryan, Rob, thanks for jumping on. And uh, let's go through some bullet points. We'll show them what we're gonna talk about today. So we'll meet the Stingray, of course. Uh, we'll talk about some accessories, features, uh, install and setup, and then some room versatility stuff. And uh, I'm sure in the middle of this chaos, we'll, we'll hand the mic over to Rob so he can kind of talk about the full package. Cause we are, the Stingray is just a piece of, uh, of a bigger pie. Um, but let's, uh, let's start with the Stingray. All right. So uh, here's the Stingray in all of its glory, uh, right? It's just, uh, Rack mountable uh, DSP. Um, a lot of people actually nowadays, I like to mention, uh, are mounting it behind the uh, monitor. So we do have some uh, brackets that you uh, are add on purchase where you can very cleanly mount this behind your monitor right next to the PC um, and get everything fitting uh, behind the screen where there's already power. So it should be easy to do the cable management back there. Uh, we'll go uh, move on from here. So we'll start with some accessories. Um, I'll very quickly touch on our XLR adapter. Uh, this was mainly uh, created, uh, especially for our, our longtime uh, customers of our last DSP, the Octopus, which was XLR connectivity. Uh, we found that a ton of our customers love the ease of use of XLR connections. Just plug it right in, it snaps in and you're done. Um, this helps some integrators and also helps a lot of customers that installed these things themselves. Uh, so that is available for them. Um, next, we have our Phoenix Connect, which is our software control application. Um, how much does that one cost right there, Ryan? That app is absolutely free. Free? Yes, it is. Holy smokes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hand this one off to you, let you uh, talk Phoenix a little bit Connect, about this. It's, um, it's something we really love here, how it just pairs seamlessly with our Stingray DSP mixer. You can see it right here on our tablet. Um, you know, here are some of the basic features that it offers, and this is really something where you have it in the room, and it really helps you conduct your meeting um, in a real easy way. You know, there's not a lot of functions here because we don't want anyone walking the meeting and getting confused or having more uh, features that they're never gonna use. So this keeps it simple. You can dial, you can adjust the speaker volume, you mute the room. And we'll talk about it a little later, but when you're going into zoning and using you know, multiple units, you can split or join rooms directly from this app and it's available on all platforms. So whatever you have as a dedicated device in that room, whether it's a tablet or a PC, you know, next to the wall, you can use this app for any, any one of those platforms. Awesome, and now we'll go into some features. So uh, running through these, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the daisy chaining, uh, zoning, uh, some bridging stuff, uh, what the unique line inputs are used for, um, and then two of the kind of biggest features that I see that really separate us from others are going to be the built-in power amplifier and, of course, the no programming. Yeah, so when you leave this webinar, if there's one thing you take away, I really want you to realize the you know simplicity of install and the ease of use, and that really just comes from the aspect that there's no programming involved with this specific DSP. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there is a daisy chaining feature, and this is going to be used for a couple of different reasons. The first reason being that uh, you needed more microphones in the room uh, for a larger room. So the Stingray comes with four microphone inputs and then four unique line inputs. And so if you need anything beyond that, um, have no fear. You don't need to get another device. Um, you can just get another Stingray and simply daisy chain them together with a cat cable. Um, one cool thing to mention is that you can use each power amplifier uh, on every Stingray that is daisy chained together. Um, and then the second use case for 
using the daisy chaining is when you're doing zoning, which I think we're going to actually we have a slide about next. And um, if you don't know, uh, now you will know. If you do know, then you know, then you'll you'll know even more. But uh, zone, zoning is used when you have um, multiple rooms that can be combined into one large room. So let's take this room for example. Um, if we had a wall that that opened and closed right here, and sometimes this turns into a much larger space, and then when there's smaller meetings, they close the wall. Um, you want one system for both those rooms. So the Stingray with the click of a button, and even a click of the button on our control application, because we have a, a, a room combined and a room split button to make it very easy for you to do your zoning, um, will allow you to do that. So you can have one Stingray in this room, one Stingray in the other room, and then you can have an option, you know, A, when the rooms are split, and then you can have an option B, when the rooms are combined, bringing the same audio system throughout both, both rooms. Um, bridging, so bridging is just talking about uh, combining all the interfaces on our device. Uh, all of our units, if you know us, have, have done bridging. I mean, we were the first uh, speakerphone on the market to do bridging. That was our spider line between VoIP and uh, USB as well as PSDN and USB. Uh, the Stingray is a uh, USB first device, um, but can also do VoIP as well as analog if you have a customer that's going to bring in um, some type of codec, Cisco, or LifeSize, or Polycom, and uh, we can bridge between the interfaces as well. Right, this is a feature we use every day, even within our own organization here. You know, we're in a meeting in this conference room, we have someone we need to get a hold of in the warehouse, or they're stuck in traffic and can't make it, we can call them directly on our Phoenix Connect app, bridge them in seamlessly, and it's just super convenient when you need to get a hold of someone, and also, like we're on a video conference call right here, the other end can also hear that call. You know, we're not on a separate speakerphone device. It's not interrupting the current call. It makes it a lot easier to conduct meetings. Yeah, and I think seamless is the most important. Uh, that iPad you see on our table, if I was to just dial a phone number right now, it would just bring that person to the call. Right. So it's, it's effortless. Uh, to speak a little bit about the unique line inputs, um, I have to assume you know what these are for, but if you don't, um, one would be for like a handheld microphone, a lapel mic, um, a wireless, maybe, you know, uh, what is it, the, uh, the old catch box where you throw the microphone around the room, um, whatever those are. And if you need sound reinforcement, that's fine with those as well. And then the, the other thing would be to combine some type of media in the room. Um, second up is our built-in power amplifier. So this is huge. It saves time. It saves space. Um, it's 15 watts per channel. There's four channels, and it's 8 ohm. And then lastly, uh, the kind of the game changer and the way – we add value to this space. Um, so take Biamp or QSIS, for example, right? These guys have been around for a really, really long time and they do a great job of what they do. Um, so it's unlikely that we're gonna come out with a DSP that's like, hey, we're just like them. Um, Cause it just wouldn't uh, jive well and it definitely doesn't um, uh, hit our mission statement. And if, if you don't know our mission statement, it's, it's simply, um, you know, high quality audio products that are, that are easy to use uh, and simple to set up for any collaboration space. So the Stingray is no different, and it's really unheard of in this space to have something this simple. Uh, when you do use the Stingray, everything's automatic, the gain control, the echo cancellation, the sound canceling. All you need to do is adjust the sensitivity levels, um, whether that be on a regular mic or that on a, a line input, and then you also adjust your speaker levels, and then you're done. You, uh, you, you leave the screen and, and focus on what's important, which is the meeting that you're having. Right, and I go talk with our engineering department and they go give me a deep dive into this. And what I love about it is, you know, I'm in marketing here, but I also understand this very clearly. It's something that's almost intuitive in design. And, um, you know, we see everyone from 20 years in the business, audio engineer experts to, you know, that IT guy that really has never touched a DSP before. And he just jumps on this web going, you know, he types in the IP address and he can configure anything he needs to. And it's not complicated. And that's what we hold true here at Phoenix. So as far as the versatility and scalability um, of the Stingray, what I'd like to do here is just show you a few different use cases. Um, and the room on the left, that was actually a room that I was in there before it actually got installed. And the versatility of the Stingray was that when they switched this room to a Zoom room, we were able to take all of their stuff out of that cabin over there um, they wanted to keep the microphones that you can see in the table because if they removed them, there'd just be a bunch of holes in the table. Those were XLR microphones. And it was hard to find 
something that would um, easily integrate with those. So we just daisy chained a few Stingrays together. Um, we used that adapter I told you about, the XLR adapter, plugged it all in, connected it to a, to a PC, connected that to an iPad that held the uh, Zoom room on it, and they were done and good to go. Um, we we're also able to integrate to the speakers you see on the ceiling on the right and the left. Um, the picture on the top right, that's a, just a super easy install, simple room, four hanging sure microphones, very much like what we have in this room, uh, four ceiling mics, um, virtually plug and play. And then the room on the bottom right is that zoning room I told you about where that wall can actually close and those that it can either be one very large room or two medium sized conference rooms. So the current DSP world as we see it, um, if you're anything like me uh, and you take a look at this uh, image, you say, wow, I have no idea what's going on there. Um, there's very few, few people that do, right? They're, they're called audio engineers and, and they're expensive and, it, and it's time consuming to get them on an install. So what we wanted to do now in the current, uh, in, in our DSP world, sorry, is uh, show the Stingray that is, it's, that's it. There's none of this stuff for jargon or stuff you have to learn. Plug it in, adjust the sensitivity level, and have your meeting. Very good. Now what I want to do is hand over the mic to Rob Ziv, and he's going to talk a little bit about Almos sound options. Awesome. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen. Well, first I want to say that when I first saw Stingray at Infocom, I was blown away. I've worked with the other DSPs out there. I know what's involved in terms of programming and the simplicity behind Stingray itself impressed me so much that we had to get one in here, put in our lab, kick the tires on it because I couldn't believe it at first, but once we got it in, tried it out, it, was, it, it truly is, and I hate to use this word because it's overused, but a game changer. So if anybody ever thinks, gee, I want to put in a DSP, but I don't know how, I don't want to run into the challenges of the programming and the troubleshooting all, all along those lines, Stingray is certainly the, the way to go. And I really love that the Phoenix engineers, when we put forward different microphones options to them, they test them out and verify that they work. They got a list of microphones that are really go very well with the unit. So with Almo you know, being the distributor for Phoenix Audio, we keep these products in stock. One of the nice things is there's no minimum purchase requirements. In addition to the support that you get from Phoenix, you have the support from myself and others here on staff that are that specialize in audio. You can purchase multiple items together, which is really nice. So with your Stingray, it makes it very easy to get everything else that would go in the room. And then we also have a no hassles, easy return policy, best one on the market. So we're here for you. What we've done is we've put together for the Stingray a promotional package, help save you a few bucks. But really the idea here is to, is to continue the theme of simplicity because with the Stingray in this bundle, in this package, you get both the biodynamic ceiling microphone, the OM302, and, the J and some JBL Control 24Cs. So you really can take these items, plug them in together, put them in your room, and you're, and you're gonna be ready to go. Nice and quick and easy. Nice. All right, so if you have questions about sound options, and again, sound options is, is a, a plethora of audio options that we have available for you, a single source option for you, feel free to reach out to me. My number's on the screen. Be gl I'm glad to help you out and answer whatever questions you have. Perfect. We'll keep this up here for a minute just so everyone can you know, write down your email. It's going to be very easy to contact you guys. Um, then we'll go to the next slide. It's going to you know, show you how you can contact us directly. But you know, essentially, we're here and it's uh, 15 minutes into this webinar. We held true to our word and you can consider yourself certified and an expert in the Stingray DSP mixer. Now, I don't know another DSP where you can be certified in 15 minutes, but you know, you know everything you need to know. It's, it's that plug and play device with no programming. And if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to reach out. Um, now that you've had that information down, Phoenix Audio, you can visit us directly at phnxaudio.com. You can contact Zach in our, in our sales team or just directly email info at phnxaudio.com or there's our phone number right there. But I wanted to What's thank the, you guys so much for watching. What's the indicator on the right there? Let me see. Did we get a question in? We did. Oh, perfect. Let's cover this. So um, that was a great uh, question. The question is, is your product only bridging audio or are you also bridging the video? Um, so yeah, we bridge the audio. So um, if we are on this video call and we dial in that number um, and it bridges them in, we are bridging that call into this meeting. So Rob will be able to hear, hear the person, full duplex, so will we 
um, but they would not be involved in the video. They would be on the, um, on essentially on our Stingray. We would be bridging them into the call. Um, it's in order to bridge the video, that's what you would use the software application for, the Zoom or, or whatever it is you're using. Perfect. Hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, please, uh, please reach back out. I want to make sure it's uh, answered. And if my answer is not smart enough, I promise we have a, I'm, I'm pretty sure that half of our building is a bunch of smart people. Uh, I just work, I'm just a dumb old salesman. So dumb young salesman, actually, I should go with. You should give yourself more credit. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, Rob. Thank you so much for taking the time to share a little bit about Almos sound options and how the Stingray works with all of your, you know, products. Um, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.